So how do you take a screenshot on Windows 10? How does Snipping Tool work? Where is Snipping Tool located? Can Snipping Tool capture video? Does Snipping Tool save automatically? In this video, I'll be sharing a step-by-step -step guide to help you become a Snipping Tool Pro. Let's first talk about what is Snipping Tool. Snipping Tool is a screenshotting application that is automatically downloaded and comes free with Windows 10. So if you look here, it says at the very top of Windows website, Snipping Tool to capture screenshots. So just to be really clear, no. Snipping Tool does not capture video. If you're interested in learning what software you can use to record video in Windows 10, check out the video below in the description. Let's go ahead and move forward and let's talk about where Snipping Tool is located and how to open it up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you tips and tricks that I've learned that really helps me screenshot with Snipping Tool way quicker than doing it the long way. And so let me show you what that is. You're simply gonna click on the Windows icon in the lower left-hand side of your screen. And if you scroll down, you're gonna find in the W section, you're gonna find a Windows Accessories button and if you click on that, it's gonna open and towards the top, you should see Snipping Tool. This is the longest way in order for you to open it, but I did wanna show you where it should be found in the folders of your desktop computer. Second way to open it is just to simply go down here next to the Windows icon in the lower left-hand side of the screen and just to type in Snipping Tool. Once you type it in, you press enter and it appears on your screen. When you type in Snipping Tool, something I really like to do, just simply right click over Snipping Tool and click Pin to Taskbar. On the very bottom of your screen, you're gonna notice the Snipping Tool icon appear there and it's now an easy shortcut to click on and have it open. Let's talk about what we see before we move forward. You're gonna notice when you open Snipping Tool, it says select the snip mode using the mode button or click the new button. It's giving you helpful information, but this is something really to be ignored. Um, at the end of this video, you're gonna know how to use Snipping Tool well enough where you're not gonna need to read that every time you open it. The other thing you're gonna notice, it says Snipping Tool is moving in a future update, Snipping Tool will be moving into what is called Snip and Sketch. Basically, Windows has updated Snipping Tool and they created Snip and Sketch. In this video, we're not gonna be talking about Snip and Sketch, but if you wanna learn more about Snipping Tool's most recent update, Snip and Sketch, please click on the link in the description bar below. So here's another question that is super important um, as we are learning Snipping Tool. Does Snipping Tool save automatically? The answer is a bit tricky the first time you use the application. Once you snip, it will, to the first time user, appear to save, but it won't actually. So where does Snipping Tool actually save your images and how do you save? So what's really important about Snipping Tool is when you go ahead and click new, it'll give you the option to click and drag and screenshot an image. At that point, you wanna go up to File tab at the very top of the application and click Save As. When you click Save As, it's gonna open up the File Explorer dialog box, and I like to always save my screenshots on my desktop inside of this PC. You then wanna create a file name, something that makes sense for you. If you call everything screenshot, or if you save everything in your download section of your computer, and it's called something like capture, you may not remember where it is. Save as type, there's a lot of different file types, but you generally wanna keep it on a JPEG or a PNG. And then once you do that, you're just gonna click the save button. Next, let's talk about how Snipping Tool actually works. The only way that you really can take a screenshot using Snipping Tool is by clicking the new button. When you click on your button, there is a white overlay that appears on your screen and your mouse changes to a crosshair. You then want to find the part of your screen that you would like to snip. This is where Snipping Tool, in my opinion, is better than some other keyboard shortcuts. This allows me to take a very nice, clean snip of my screen. And again, this is really helpful if you're making online blog tutorials, online website tutorials, you wanna show someone specifically one section without having to edit the picture later or try to erase in paint. This is what Snipping Tool is amazing at. 
So the next tool we want to look at is the mode tool. This tool is also extremely important and this allows snipping tool again to shine. Mode is giving you different ways to snip your screen. Normally by default, it should be on rectangular snip and that's the really nice clean version of snipping a piece of your screen. So the next mode we're going to go into is window snip. This is really great if you have multiple screens and you would like to specifically snip one of the computer screens on your desktop um, without it snipping just the automatic one. So if I go ahead and snip the windowed screen now and I click, you're going to notice it puts that full windowed screen up for me. And again, all you would do is then go to file and then save or the floppy disk. The next one we're gonna do inside of mode is we want to look at freeform snip. So this is the last one of the different modes in snipping tool. This potentially could be helpful if you specifically want a small portion of the screen or if you want to take some time and try to snip around the picture, the image to be able to cut something out and you don't really want those restrictive rectangular snips. So let me show you this next feature, okay? It's called delay. There's a little arrow next to delay and it allows you to kind of click on a few different options below it, such as no delay. What is this? This is a timer. It's kind of like on your phone when you set the timer to not take a photo for five seconds. That's what this is doing in this application. With that being said, when you have it on no delay, it means that when I go to click new, automatically it's going to make me take my snip of whatever it is. When I change the delay from no delay to one, two, three, four, or five seconds, it will then create a delay before it has you snip something. This is really helpful, again, if you need to click on the snipping tool, but then open up a sub folder or sub menu that can only be opened up when you are clicking on it currently. So let me show you what I mean. If I change delay to five seconds, I'm gonna change my mode back to rectangular snip, and then I'm gonna click on the new button. I'm gonna go up here into Google Chrome, I'm gonna click on history, history. And at this point, you're gonna notice there was a delay my screen did the normal overlay, but again, snipping tool is shining right now because in a normal screenshot, I would have not been able to do that. The next thing we're gonna go ahead and talk about is the cancel button. So this cancel button only appears when you are in the middle of taking a snip. So you're on new, you're trying to snip, you don't want to. Just simply go over here to the big X cancel button, click on it, and it simply cancels out of the current snip but it keeps the application open in case you wanna continue with it. So the last tool that appears before you snip inside of the snipping tool application is the options button. This button is really great if you want further customization to your snipping tool app and allow to hide or show individual options and prompts. One of the really nice options inside of this box is underneath the selection group, there is an ink color area where this is your default color of your pen tool, which we'll get to further in the video. When you click on the drop down arrow, there are many different colors that you may select. And again, this just further helps customize the snipping tool overall. When you're done, feel free to press okay, and you can move forward with using snipping tool as normal. So the next few features we're gonna talk about are the tools that appear or the buttons that appear once you have successfully snipped your screen. You're gonna notice there are different buttons that appear up here, as well as a menu title, a menu area. So the next one we're gonna talk about is this floppy disk. When you click on it, it's gonna save your snip, but it's gonna act just like file save as. Next part is copy. This button simply copies your snip to your clipboard. This envelope is a way to email someone directly with your snip. And so there is email recipient, as well as the option email recipient as attachment. The next tool is called the pen tool. This one's super helpful for annotation. You're gonna notice that snipping tool specifically puts your screen and kind of gives you these margins around your image that you screenshotted. And when you click on the down arrow, it's gonna allow you to click between the red, the blue, and the black pen. You can also set it to be a custom pen. And in order to customize that pen, you wanna go down to customize. You want to select your custom color. You wanna select your custom thickness, and then the tip is simply how does the tip look if you were to draw across your screen. Round tip is gonna look round. Chiseled tip pen is going to look chiseled. 
uh, like it's gonna look like a paintbrush that's a rectangle went across your screen rather than a round tipped brush. With customizing your pen, again, the goal of this is you can annotate and say A and point to here. Obviously it's not the cleanest um, unless you have really amazing handwriting or you have a tablet of some sort where you can actually write directly on your screen. This highlighter tool is also super important and it's gonna just help it pop a little bit more in my screenshot. This tool called the eraser is gonna allow you to erase things and you're simply gonna click on the lines that you wanna remove and it's removing the whole stroke. Edit with 3D Paint. So what is this? I'm not gonna go into a lot about it in this video, but normally you wanna use this if you'd like to paint over in a more artistic sense, your screenshot, but it can also be used in a practical sense to change the sizing or add text onto your screenshot. This is one of the only buttons that is not found on your toolbar, and that is the printing option. So if you go to File and you click Print, you're then able to select the printer you'd like to use and click print. The other way you can do this is after you file save your screenshot, you would simply open the screenshot like normal to look at the photo or the image, right click over it and click print. And with that, our software tour comes to a close. But before we end, I want to hear what you all think about this software. What part of this tool do you enjoy the most? What real world application do you use Snipping Tool for mainly? Likewise, don't forget to share your thoughts below on what software or tool you would love featured for a future bird's eye guide tutorial on this channel. As always, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more quality 4K tutorial videos. And until we meet again, remember, this is Tutorial Toucan, your bird's eye guide through all things tech.